The original DAL-E was a groundbreaking tool that introduced us to AI-generated images in January 2021. DAL-E2 came and made giant strides in prompt comprehension, but still left room for much more improvement. With DAL-E3, we close the curtains on prompt engineering and say hello to a more intuitive AI creative partnership. Today, we explore the latest evolution in AI artistry, DAL-E3. But before we continue, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications to be the first to see new and exciting AI news as it unfolds. As OpenAI continues to pursue its goal of advancing artificial intelligence research and technology, it has once again pushed the boundaries of what we thought possible with another version of the original DAL-E, the DAL-E3. This is the third version of OpenAI's text-to-image generative AI developed by its research team. The lead researcher and head of the DAL-E team at OpenAI, Aditya, alongside core researchers Gabriel Goh, James Betker, and Li Jing, played a significant role in specifically developing and executing DAL-E3. DAL-E operates through a sophisticated architecture that involves several key components. At its core is a robust text encoder. This component processes input text descriptions and transforms them into highly structured text embeddings. These embeddings represent the semantic meaning of the text, then employs a technique called diffusion to bridge the gap between text and image. It systematically converts text embeddings into image embeddings. This process entails adding controlled noise to image embeddings and then meticulously reversing it to achieve the desired image embeddings. Once the image embeddings are generated, DAL-E leverages a powerful decoder module. This component combines image embeddings with text embeddings to produce comprehensive images. The decoder employs Glide, a modified version of UNET, to precisely create these images. DALI's training regimen hinges on contrastive learning. A vast dataset containing text image pairs facilitates the model's learning process. DAL-E learns to establish associations between text and image embeddings through this extensive dataset. In essence, its intricate architecture enables it to convert textual descriptions into coherent and contextually relevant images. According to OpenAI, each new version of DAL-E represents a progression in incorporating user feedback and needs to AI technology. The previous iterations had their strengths, but faced major setbacks. For example, the original DAL-E struggled with specific wording, occasionally misunderstanding accurately nuanced or complex terminology and prompts. Users had to carefully craft prompts to get the desired results, leading to a learning curve. DAL-E2, while an improvement to the original, still had limitations when comprehending nuanced details and text prompts, amongst other issues. It could generate images more accurately, but some subtleties were still greatly missed. These setbacks circled back around to the need for users to continuously fine-tune their prompts to align with the AI's capabilities and understanding, which felt like teaching a dog a new trick, but the dog responds only when specific commands and gestures are employed. So the team at OpenAI aimed to address the issues and then some. Their plan included enhancing user experience by improving DAL-E's ability to understand nuanced prompts, eliminating the need for users to engage in complex or repetitive prompt engineering, and making the creative process smoother and more accessible. The team also set out to increase safety measures and artistic freedom, a problem all AI enthusiasts and developers face today. OpenAI set out to create a system that empowers users to freely create images from text prompts, giving them complete ownership and control over the generated content. On September 20th, DALL-E 3 was unveiled by OpenAI, a monumental leap from the second iteration. Unlike its predecessors, it excels at faithfully translating complex prompts, eliminating the need for extensive prompt engineering or complicated prompting techniques. The new system captures relationships between objects and crafts photorealistic human details, including hands and reflections. Where DALL-E 2 is a well-tuned orchestra, DALL-E 3 comes into the same orchestra, but as a maestro. It's like having an AI muse that transforms your imagination into tangible artwork. With DAL-E3, creative expression and visual storytelling possibilities become limitless as it effortlessly transforms textual ideas into visually accurate images. 
the journey to this point was not without its challenges. During the beta testing phase, DAL E3 was noted for its uncensored nature, capable of generating content from nudity to gore and violence. This raised valid concerns about the potential misuse of such technology. OpenAI implemented several measures in the latest version to ensure safety, prevent harmful content generation, and maintain creative control of the user. Some of these controls include content restrictions that allow the model to decline requests that could lead to the generation of violent, adult, or hateful content in order to maintain a safe and respectful user experience. The model also protects public figures by preventing requests that ask for a public figure by name, reducing the risk of generating potentially misleading or harmful content related to well-known individuals, as major lawsuits have also been filed against the company by notable figures like Game of Thrones creator and author George R. R. Martin, who accused OpenAI of improper use of copyrighted material. AI-generated art remains a concern especially regarding inappropriate, copyrighted, and unethical content. While OpenAI initially removed filters during testing, the company constantly explores strategies to prevent misuse in public versions. To further guarantee safety, OpenAI is actively researching ways to help users identify when an image was created with AI by experimenting with a provenance classifier. This internal tool can determine if an image was generated by DAL E3. This tool aims to enhance transparency about AI-generated content. Finally, it respects the creative control of artists and creators, so it is designed to decline requests that ask for images in the style of living artists. Additionally, creators are now allowed to opt their images out from being used in the training of future image generation models, giving them greater control over their work. Early glimpses of the finished product suggest outrageously fast capabilities, earning praise from those fortunate enough to test it. Currently, access to DALI 3 remains tightly controlled, with approximately 400 testers given the privilege. A broader release is scheduled for a late October. According to internal testing processes to evaluate its performance, safety, and functionality, DAL E3 has exceeded major expectations. Feedback from internal testing informed the model's development and helped OpenAI make necessary improvements to enhance its performance and safety features. DAL E2 and DAL E3 were pitted against each other, challenged with identical prompts to assess their respective capabilities. DAL E3 emerges as the clear victor, delivering images that are not just sharp but intricately detailed, creating an illusion of realism that is nothing short of captivating. It showcased an extraordinary level of mastery in portraying scenes with meticulous attention to texture, lighting, and background, ensuring that every element falls into place seamlessly. Its remarkable ability to intertwine generated text seamlessly with the visual component sets it apart even further. This feat continues to challenge even the most advanced AI image generators in existence. DAL E3 goes beyond simply comprehending prompts. It listens intently to every word, eliminating the arduous task of prompt engineering that users had to grapple with when dealing with DAL E2. The result is an image generation process that is not only user-friendly, but also remarkably intuitive. This new iteration excels at capturing the nuanced intricacies of textual descriptions, resulting in images that are markedly sharper and more precise when compared to the outputs of DAL E2. The coolest part is DAL E3's integration with ChatGP. This dynamic interaction expedites the creative process, allowing ideas to materialize quickly. The collaboration doesn't stop at prompt generation. Users can tap into the combined creativity of text and image generation. ChatGPT becomes a dynamic brainstorming partner, refining ideas and assisting in the creative process. If the generated image from DAL-E3 isn't quite right, users can interact with ChatGPT to make quick adjustments, allowing for a seamless and iterative refinement process. ChatGPT becomes the brainstorming partner, helping you refine your ideas, while DAL-E3 is the artist, turning those ideas into stunning visual masterpieces, something none of the previous iterations came close to achieving. This partnership makes AI-generated art accessible to a broader audience, especially those who may not excel at crafting intricate prompts or sharing their thoughts clearly. They can leverage the capabilities of DAL-E3 with the assistance of ChatGPT.
The result is a more user-friendly and intuitive approach to generating imaginative, detailed images from text prompts. For those eager to explore AI image generation, plugins enable the use of DAL E2 with ChatGPT+. Non-subscribers, though, may encounter restrictions in their creative endeavors. That's all about the latest innovation from OpenEye DAL E3. Remember, tell us what you think in the comments, and we look forward to your support as we dive into more exciting topics in the future. Don't forget to subscribe and have a look at our videos about OpenAI and other AI innovations. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.